Dirk has been a friend forever, really. I've, I've known him for 20 years now. The very first concert Leonard ever did with an orchestra, I was conducting. He uh, won a contest in Belgium. He was uh, six years old. And uh, he uh, got a concert with, the, with one of the orchestras in Belgium. So it happened that I was a conductor. He's always been a friend, a musical friend, a, like a godfather figure. So we were talking about, about the future and sharing some, some ideas, some musical ideas, and we said uh, we should do something, something Belgian. We're both from Belgium. There is a repertoire which is, which is lost, which is not played anymore. The four composers are all Belgian, but all very different. So even though it's a Belgian project, it's, it's four different types of music. We have uh, Vieuxtemps, who is very well known for his violin concertos, very difficult violin concertos. We have Isaïe, who's a great, great violinist himself, but also a very nice composer. And the Frank, uh, because uh, it's, it's been a piece that I've played for, for years as a sonata, for 10 years. Uh, I, I always had the feeling he writes in a very symphonic way. We really wanted to create an, an, a new world, so really not only transcribe it, but really try to create a new world. And all of a sudden, instead of a sonata, it, it almost became a, a concerto now. And of course, I was writing something for 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 Leonard. It's in it's a new piece. It's a piece that's dedicated to the victims of the of the Holocaust. I can't think of anyone who won't be touched by it. Vieuxtemps and Eugène Isaïe are a little bit like the, the Paganinis of Belgium. There are these kind of uh, composers who write amazingly well for the violin because they were violinists. So they, they wrote whatever they could, uh, any tricks that they would use to show off. When you play it, just forget that it's difficult and have fun, really, because it's there is so much happening there. If you really think about what you're actually doing, then you just can't do it. <laughs> so, so really trust in, in what you've done and then let, let the soul, the spirits, just wander around and, and hopefully grasp something of what the composer wanted. I thought, since he studied at the Royal College of Music and uh, he, he lived in London and, and worked in London and did concerts in London, I thought maybe it was a good idea to check whether the LSO was interested in doing it. I need a bit of time to understand what's happening. I'm still still not realizing it's 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 a dream. At the same time, it's I mean it's, it's so emotional. It's so fantastic. It is the best orchestra in the world for for many reasons, and I, I say it from the bottom of my heart. It's it's a dream to play with them, really. The main uh, interesting thing about this CD is that it's, it's all new things. It's not, again, a Beethoven concerto for the 88th time. It's, it's all new things. I mean, there is a, a world premiere Dirk's composition, which is unique. There is the Vieuxtemps concerto, which is almost never played. The Frank Sonata, a version with, with orchestra. And then Isaïe, uh, it's called Rêve d'enfant. It's a piece I've loved since I'm a child, and I guess it's a bit of a Rêve d'enfant, what's happening. Thank you. 